Hello there again, Justine Nagore here, um, healer and spiritual coach, helping you to manage your emotions and your energy and release trauma and create a sense of alignment in your life. So this video is cov covering the tapping points, how to tap. I will be guiding you through the video, so don't worry about that and how to make the most of the experience. So first of all, set up your space. You'll see I have a lovely Yugi candle here, have a notepad, have a pen. It's really good to jot your scores down and to reflect upon them, write any notes. Make sure you have undisturbed time so that you can fully relax and go into the feeling senses during the tap. I will be going uh, going through finger tapping on another video. So in between you coming and watching these videos, you can practice your finger tapping in between, which is a great way to still be able to manage tapping, but to be quite in a discreet way if you're out in public. So um, we're going in. The invitation is also to go into the feeling senses. So when you're tapping, I would have said in the previous video, please alter any words that don't resonate with you. Or if you have a really strong word during the guided tapping that is more prominent than what I'm saying, please insert it. Please do your scoring of zero to 10 because it's a really good way to actually manage and see how things are changing for you. And also please go into the feeling senses. So if you feel, oh, you know, I feel a bit buzzy, my fingers are tingling, anything can happen during EFT, verbalize that, acknowledge it and bring it into the script and replace it with the words that I'm saying. So let's go on to the tapping points. Now they're really important to get right because meridians are from specific points and they flow through the body. So instead of um, tapping here all over the forehead, we want to tap for instance here. So, and it's really important that when you tap, you get the balance right. So we don't want to be doing this because it's not really going to do anything. We don't want to be whacking ourselves because we're going to get tapping bruises. But we want to create enough where you can kind of hear it, a little bit of resonance. So it's actually creating a vibration down the meridian lines and actually creating it like cause and effect, basically. So we always start off with a, what we call a karate point chop which is where we acknowledge the problem and we say we're here and we're dealing with it so this is here so you can tap here so this is the karate point and i will talk through it through each script and you can do it on any hand people ask this it doesn't matter no it doesn't matter what hand you do okay so we will say a setup statement three times i will say it the first time in the video and then i'll repeat it three more times and you say it with me then I go up to what we call the eyebrow point here, and I will say um, an acknowledgement, a statement, and then I say it again, and you repeat it with me. So the point is specific. It's here. You can do one hand, the other hand. You can do both hands together. And then we go to the side of the eye. So we're following the bone, and we go to the side here. We then go under the eye, You've got big glasses take your glasses off and tap here it's on the bone don't go so high that you're tapping onto the soft part of your eye we then go to here and i always pull funny faces at this point just above there we then go there and then we go to the collarbone so you can go along the collarbone by tapping you can give it a bit of welly here so tapping on the collarbone or you can just do one then we go under the arm where the bra strap is. Give it a good tap there. And then we go to the crown. So imagine like that, that sort of toy at the fun fair, the claw that comes down, we do the crown here. We do it hard enough. Okay, and we normally take a deep breath and we, and we reassess, but I will be going through that all with you. Now, you might find when you're tapping that certain points feel more sensitive than other points even though you're tapping at the same rate just notice that just remain in a state of awareness if you're tapping and you're like oh i can't stand this i've come across a couple of people that find it really difficult then just go to a point that feels okay or you can just um rub your wrists instead if you feel like i really can't stand it on my forehead just go to your wrists instead and rub there they're just like 
little emergency procedures. Now you're going to receive these guided taps in three stages. So you score it at each stage. If you've done the first stage and your score is above five still, repeat the first stage, please. Repeat it until you get to five or below, go on to the second, the second stage. And again, if it's above five, repeat the second stage and then go on to the third stage once you get to five or below. And if you don't get to zero, that's fine. It's absolutely fine. Just, just get the scores going, going downwards and you'll feel when it's time for you to actually finish. Now, scores can sometimes go up before they go down. There's nothing wrong in that. That's absolutely fine, but they should eventually be going down. Now, my invitation also to you is, if you're dealing with something that is a high trauma, um, please get a one-to-one -one EFT with it because when we work one-to-one, -one, I can curate and work with your energy um, to a way where you're not going to be really feeling high trauma coming out, but you're going to feel safe and we can work through it together rather than putting yourself into a situation where you might suddenly feel quite triggered and traumatized and you're watching a video. So please use your common sense with that. So, um, and go, come back to these, e these EFTs, repeat it. If you've got a specific issue, jot it down, write down the title of that specific EFT and see how you go with it. And I'd love to hear about it over and out. Thank you.